Hey you guys, it's me, Laura. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids, ages four, eight, and 11. And today I am going to share with you a look at one of the themes from Winter Promise. Now, if you haven't heard of Winter Promise, Winter Promise is a theme-based curriculum. So each year of curriculum has a different theme and each theme is geared toward a span of grades. So you might have a theme that is second to fifth grade, or you might have a theme that's third to eighth grade or whatnot. There are ways included that you can kind of size up or size down with those, but it's really hard to find out a lot of information about Winter Promise. There are not a ton of reviews online. There aren't very many walkthroughs for sure. And the website is definitely tricky. I would say for me, that's the, the biggest downside is that the website can be confusing, but, um, if you stick with the basic packages, you're generally pretty good. And I have found that when I call the company, um, they're very responsive. But today what I'm gonna show you is I'm going to show you their America Story 2 theme. And we're not using all of it this year and we're not using it the way that it's intended to be using it used. I am using it to help me build some unit studies to kind of give me a basis so that I can have a little less work to do on some of my US history um, unit studies and we have not used it yet. So I am just doing a walkthrough with you so that you can kind of see what's included and how it works and kind of what a theme is like. I have gone ahead, I went with the basic e-package. So everything that I'm showing you comes in the basic ebook package and I downloaded the PDFs. I have not printed the complete everything because I, I'm not gonna use it all printed, but I've tried to print enough of each of the books to kind of give you a little flavor of what they're like. And I've mostly printed stuff that's from where we're starting with the program, if that makes any sense. So hopefully this is helpful for you and let's turn on the camera and I will show you what it's all about. Okay, so the first thing that you are going to get is a guidebook and this, you can order it printed already or you can just order the PDF. Like I said, I got the ebook package and I'll show you the difference between the ebook package and the print package from the best I could tell. I'm not 100% clear on that, but I'll show you the best what I could figure out. So you will get your guidebook and in front of the guidebook here, it shows you everything that is included and what all you need to do the program. So you will have the guidebook. You're gonna get two consumable story journals. And again, you can get the PDF and print as many copies as you need, or you can buy them printed. All of the stuff on this side of the page, you can buy as print. All of this stuff, I believe, is only available online except for this one, the Bible curriculum here. So, um, and this is a Christian program, but from what I can tell so far, again, I haven't used it yet. I think it would work for a secular homeschool as long as you don't use the Bible portion, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I can tell you more once we have used it. Um, but you're going to have your guidebook, your two journals, part one and part two, and then it comes with all of your textbooks. There's five textbooks that you're gonna be using. The Civil War, Sweeping into the West, Building a Bigger Nation and Big Cities in a New Century, Two World Wars and One Great Depression, and From the 1950s to the Future. And then these are ebook only resources. So there's the America Story 2 timeline cards, which is like a pack of game cards, your timeline figures, your Build Our American Culture, which this is kind of a neat little add-on that you can use to build dioramas of some of the places and things that you're learning about, presidential profiles, and an art study that's called Later American Painter Study. And then these are ebook, extra tablet ebook kind of books that you wouldn't want to print these. You would just look at them either on a tablet or a computer or something like that. And then these are some additional activity books. There's the America Achievements, Activity Adventures and America Can Do It. And I'll show you both of those so that you can see the, um, the differences. And then there's the Christian Character Traits and the Cultural Values book. And then these are optional resources that you can add for various ages. And there's a couple books that I think are highly, you know, more recommended. Um, and I don't remember where that was listed, but I know that we have one of them. Let's see if it says here. So I don't think I, let's see, did I print? I didn't print the page that has the ones that are more highly recommended. I don't even honestly remember where I saw it, but I did pick up on it. And I know that for our section, we will be using 
the shutting out the sky and I think there might be one or two more that are built into the schedule but not a whole lot of books that you have to get there are a ton of book recommendations though but um, these are fiction book lists that are optional to add on and so they have it broken up into a couple ways so if you've got just younger students in your home these are the books that they recommend i wish that instead of the isbn number here they put the author that would make some of these books a little bit easier to find but you can still generally find these available and these are there's a schedule for each of these so these are the books they recommend if you want read alouds to go along with this for younger students these are if you have older students and these are, if you have a mix of older and younger students, what they would recommend. And then they've taken each of those and they've broken it down into a schedule so that you'll be reading the right books along with the right time period and kind of how much you need to be reading each week. Here's a, a mix of all students here. You have this one. So for the Great Turkey Walk, you would read that you would read it in the first four weeks and it tells you what chapter to read on a four-day schedule with each each day of the week. They also have videos that they recommend with each week of study and for the videos they have um, a star rating. So five stars are movies that they definitely recommend all the way down to um, three stars are ones that are not quite as good and you can probably skip them but five stars are you know, more recommended, better, better movies. And they explain all of that. Now, one thing I want to note out of the gate with this program, there is way, way, way more here than you could ever do in a school year. That's intentional. They want to make sure that there are options for any kind of learner. So just regardless of what kind of learner your child is or what family dynamic you have or how much you can do, they want to make sure that you're covered. And I would say that they definitely achieve in this. If you're someone who feels like you have to do absolutely everything that's included, you will get overwhelmed very quickly. So just know coming into this that you are not going to do everything. You are not supposed to do everything. You're just going to pick the parts that make the most sense for you and your family. So here is the list of videos. They give the list and a little bit of a synopsis of each video and then they have the rating so that you can see um, if it's something you would like to watch or not. These videos are all included in the schedule but they don't have the description there so the description of them is just here in the front and then um, they have so much information about teaching your child about learning styles just about all of that kind of stuff. I printed this because I thought this was really interesting and kind of gives you a flavor of the kinds of things that are in there so it talks about how can I um, integrate narration into our day. And so they have all of these little questions that you can just use whenever, or you can cut them apart and put them in a jar and just pick one out. And so these are all different ways that you can engage with your child about what they're reading or what you're reading together and it not feel so much like a quiz. And they just really thought it out and made it very, very easy to implement. And I like that. Um, so once you have your guidebook, this is kind of an idea of what a week looks like. This is where we are going to be starting. So they have a unit here. So at the beginning of the unit, it goes through and explains what all of the weeks are going to be, kind of what you're going to be studying during that week and what your main topic, main idea is going to be. And then this is a four-day schedule program. So it is meant for a four-day school week, which is nice because then you can either do some of the extra activities that don't fit on a fifth day or you can do co-op or you can take that off. We do a four day a week homeschool year round. So it's a lot, it's really flexible in that way. So for each week, it will give you a synopsis of what you're learning and what's going on and tell you what time period you're looking at. And then day one. So for this, you're going to be re reading from the Building a Bigger Nation and do American Immigration, Early Hurdles of Immigration, Shutting Out the Sky, which is this book and it tells you what pages you're going to be doing, and then America can do it. So these are the things that they highly recommend. For really for all of those, the only things that I would say that you have to do is the um, textbook, which in this case is Building a Bigger Nation, and maybe um, if you're doing this additional book, you could do that. And then on top of that, you would have your, if you're doing it, your family read aloud from the um, schedule here at the beginning that is not included in this schedule at all so there's that option and then it's got all the activity options of things that go with it which books you're going to find it in so there's a video recommended an american can do it activity and an american achievements and adventures activity and so they're going to do that 
all the way through and give you all of the activities that go with it. Again, I would not try to do all of this every day. Decide what are the things that you are doing every day that are kind of your basics, and then how much, if any, do you want to add on to that and how often. So that kind of gives you what's going on there. And then it has independent studies. So these are things that your kids can do. So this would be your family time, and these would be things that your children could do independently. So they have your journal pages that are included here, as well as your Christian cultural values if you're doing that book. This one is about accepting others, and so it'll tell you what to do there. And then you are adding your math, so you can write that in, and then any other independent work that you want your kids to do, you can add in on that line. So that is how that's gonna be. And then here in the notes, they have any of the timeline figures they've included that go along with this. So if you want to include that in the timeline, it explains a lot how they recommend doing timelines and gives a lot of examples for that. And then oh, it's as well, this has the American experience. So this is a book that they have. This is a really big project that you could do that goes along with this as well. So that's kind of the way that the weeks are set up. And they do this all the way throughout the, um, the, the teacher guide here. And then you get to your next unit and it's the same kind of, same kind of idea. So that's kind of the way that the, the teacher guide, the guidebook is set up. And then, um, yeah. And then in the back of the guidebook here, they have the answer key to the journal and any of the questions that you might have. I didn't print that out, but I wanted to remember to tell you that there is an answer key in the back. So I put that there. So now looking at those resources that we were talking about, um, the first one that you have, this these are the textbooks that come with it. And I didn't print pages from all the textbooks, but you have the American Civil War, you have Sweeping into the West, Building a Bigger Nation and Big Cities, and then two world wars and one great depression. And I think there's one that I forgot to print in here as well from the 1950s on. So those are kind of the main um, textbooks that come with this. There's five of them. And then this is kind of what they look like. So you'll have your um, table of contents here. So this one covers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks worth of content. And this is the one from Building a Bigger Nation and so you come in and this would be, you would read this and go over this with your family for your, for your textbook reading for that day. And here's another day about what you would be reading, The Early Hurdles of Immigration, Journey to America, Ellis Island in New York. And just to give you an idea of the style of writing, um, this says, early immigrants coming to America prior to 1890 were processed at a fort called Castle Island. Before long, it was too small to handle the increasing number of immigrants immigrating to America. A new location was chosen in New York Harbor, Ellis Island. A larger structure was built and opened in 1872, but it only lasted five years. Made of wood, a fire completely destroyed it in 1897. The immigration records, records going back to 1855 were lost. Construction on a new immigration station began on Ellis Island. This time, it would be a fireproof building. Other buildings would be built as well to replace the other wooden buildings lost in the fire. The kitchen and laundry building, the main powerhouse, and the main hospital building were begun in 1900 and completed in 1901. And then anyway, you can keep going and it explains the experience some, it talks about exams, and again, it tells you what pages to read when in the teacher guide, but this is kind of your textbook. I like that there's not a ton all at once, and so that makes it really nice. And then you have your interactive notebooking journals. The first one goes from the Civil War to Sweeping West. If you get these printed, you will want to make sure to have one for each of your children. If you get the PDF, you can just print what you need. And then this is the second one, which is industrialization to today. And just to give you kind of a picture of what this is like, I have printed here the table of contents. So it has it broken up into the different um, time periods that we're gonna be looking at. Um, and it tells you what week each lesson kind of goes with. And then these activities really vary quite a bit. So it was hard to kind of give you a full picture of it. But like this one says dream uh, week 14, dreams of immigrants. So it talks about America's history, America's culture. Um, and then it tells what the stories are this week. And it's got a do it activity where you're going to make comparisons of the key dimensions of the Statue of Liberty to get an idea of how big she is. Here's how. In your backyard, mark out with tape or a friend the measurements below, and it gives you the measurements. As you mark out each measurement, take pictures of you or your friend with the measurement 
or showing the distance by standing apart from one another. Print these pictures and assemble them into a book and paste below and it's got everything that you kind of need, but you could put the pic the, the book here below. This is written in a style that's more notebooking, so if you like to do notebooking, you can keep it all right in here, or you can pull them out and do one at a time as well, whatever works for your family. So on this one, you're going to be writing the words that are on the plaque of the Statue of Liberty, and here is that table again that tells about where all the immigrants have come from, and it gives all the statistics with that, and it, here's a map that you can mark to see where all of the immigrants are coming from from around the world and this says coming through Ellis Island so this coordinates with the America can do it activity be an Ellis Island immigrant and so you're going to create the ship's manifest and um, work through this big project some of these are big some of them are short so you definitely want to look ahead some of these are multi-day things some of them just take a few minutes some of them are more involved um, and then this page is for you to cut out the passport cover and you're gonna put, put that together and, and kind of use that as part of this. I didn't print that whole activity, it looks like, but that just kind of gives you an idea of what the journal is like. It's more like an interactive notebook. So the next resource that you're gonna get is the American Story 2 timeline card. So when I got this, I was like, a little confused but of course it says right here cards game boards and fun for fun learning and that's exactly what it is so you come to the front and you've got directions for all different kinds of games and all different ways that you can use these and then again it's got the directions for a bunch of different games and a bunch of different ways see timeline jeopardy this is timeline chains um and just so many there's way more than i spelled here timeline spelling timeline tidbits um, and then other game ideas, lots and lots of ideas. And then it's got different card sets. So this is the chain playing card set. So here are the cards that you would need to play that one. Then they've got timeline cards that have events and dates and all kinds of things for the various games in there. So it's really kind of a game pack. So if you like game schooling, you're covered with that. So this is the timeline figures and it's just like you would imagine. So I just printed a little bit so that you could see what the timeline figures look like. So you would cut these out and put them in your timeline. Again, it goes into more detail in with the stuff that comes in it in ways that you can use these cards, but these are the timeline figures. You can pick and choose what you want. You don't have to use them all. And then it's also got um, here with the timeline figures, the presidents as well. So you can cut these out and include them too. But I just wanted to give you kind of a picture of what that looked like. This is called Build Our American Culture. If you have kids who like to play or do a lot of hands-on stuff, this is going to be really great for them. So I did not print an entire one, but it's got several of these, but I just printed one to kind of show you. So this is a city, city tenen, tenement diorama, and these are all different dioramas that you can make for the different time periods that you're learning about. So it kind of shows you what the setup of a tenement would have been like, what the layout of the house would have been. And then I didn't print them all out, but it's got the rooms that you can cut out and assemble in the correct way. And then it also comes with the furnishings that you can put in your tenement apartment. So it's just another really hands-on way to kind of make what you're learning come alive a little bit more. There's also these presidential profiles that go with the entire, whether you did one or whether you did two, it starts at the beginning. And so um, it has all the information for you to, to fill out about the different presidents and they're gonna ask questions that relate to that president. And one thing that you are going to want to know about is in the back, there are pictures that they can cut out to put in these boxes. So you don't have to go looking for a picture. They can they can draw a picture or they can just cut this one out and put it in. So whatever you feel is best for your student. So um, another resource they have is later American Painter Study. So if you like doing art study with your kids, it's gonna be integrated already in there. It's already done. So in the front of the book are a bunch of artistic images like this one. This is Little Girl in Blue Armchair by Mary Cassette, 1878. And then in the back, it has all this information for you and gives you ideas and ways to interact with the drawing. So it explains about the painting, it explains about the artist, and some of them will give you questions you can ask and discuss about what's going on with the pictures. So that is also included. You can look at the picture just on your screen or you can print them out nice quality, whatever you would like. 
So then these are two different activity books that come with the resource. So this is American Achievements Activity Adventures, Amazing American Inventions, Innovations, and Ideas. So what this does is it breaks down the activities by week. So each week we'll have a page, I think sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. And then it just gives you all these different activities that you can do. A lot of these will have web links along with them or be experiments that you do for like this one trip on the Underground Railroad, see what it was like to travel the Underground Railroad, um, replicas of slave quarters, see slave quarters yourself, and then there's um, a place that you can go to do this. Some of these are videos, some of these are interactive websites, some of them are just pictures or articles. This is just kind of a bunch more activities that you can do. Um, and yeah, that's what that is so based on week. So if you want even more activity ideas, you can definitely look in there. Um, this is a book of projects, basically America can do it. So some of these projects will go with what is in the journal. Some of them are completely separate, but a lot of this stuff is not stuff that's necessarily touched on in any of the other resources. So here you are be a new tenement architect. And so it's got, um, an activity that you can do there. Here's another activity where you lay out a brand new design for tenements that will work for the new law. So it explains the tenement law. And there's some pictures here for, for you to see that go with that. Be a goodies lady book tinker. Color a goodies fashion plate. So you would read about fashion then. And then um, you have, let's see, the fashion plate. So you can color this. So when people talk about what a flat fashion plate is, this explains that and gives you the opportunity to color this for yourself. This one, you can be a fashion sewer and it comes with a little pattern here that you can use and explain. And the last book is the Christian cultural values. I could not find that file on my computer. I probably either accidentally deleted it because I seem to be doing that lately, or I didn't download it in the first place, but I just wanted to kind of explain a little bit about that. I obviously can't show you inside it, but, um, for example, week 14 with immigration is about accepting others and immigration at Ellis Island week 15, staying in touch with God. And you're learning about the transatlantic telegraph cable week 16 is valuing God's blessings, not well and it's about the rich man, John D. Rockefeller, and week 17, music that honors God, Thomas Edison's phonograph. So that's kind of where that is at. And that's pretty much the overview of the way that the themes work. One other thing that I want to show you is how this integrates with their language arts program. I'm not going to do a full review of the language arts program, but I just wanted to show you how it ties in with the theme program. So it starts, I believe it begins at level three and I think it goes up to level eight. I think that's how it works. The levels before are kind of learning to read and standalone and they don't tie into the themes as well, but starting with level three, they do tie into the themes. And the way they do this, they start out by each level has a book list for every theme that includes that level. So for example, with this one, the levels that are included would be, and I'm just turning to a random week here, are America Story One, Later American, Animals, Children Around the World, and Sea and Sky. If you don't like to give your child scheduled reading, you could just see if they wanna read those. You could put them in a book basket, make them available, let them read them on their own. You could use them even as additional read alouds if you wanted, whatever works. But you'll know that whatever books are recommended here are going to be on the correct level for this language arts level three, the correct reading level for that. So for here, if you're doing American Story One, you'll be reading Night Journeys and um, the student will be reading Night Journeys and it breaks down the pages that they need to read each day. For later American, they'll be reading Helen Keller. And again, it tells what chapters or pages they need to be reading. For animals, it's Poppy and Rye. For children around the world, The Jungle Book. For Sea and Sky, it's Wonderful Flight and Planet. So I guess that's just a partial name. I don't know what the whole name of the book is, but that would be very clear based on your book list. And it's got those broken down there. The other place that it includes, um, the theme is when it comes to creative writing assignments. So you'll see here it is missing the animals theme, but that is included in the appendix of the um, of the main teacher guide here. So all of those writing assignments are right there. So for example, in this 
um, assignment, they're supposed to be thinking about preparing for writing a description paragraph, like how to describe things. So they're not actually writing the paragraph, they're just trying to practice gathering thoughts on how to describe things and how to come up with ideas for describing things. So if they're doing the early American um, unit or theme, then in this case, they're going to be working on describing what the Viking homes and the Viking ships looked like. So you would find a picture for them or something for them to look at. And then these are questions that they can answer to help work on that description. In this case, they're doing the same thing with the Civil War battle description. And they've got the questions to help with that. Things like, what are the Civil, Sol Civil War soldiers wearing? What are their guns like? How do they fight? How do the horses help in the battle? What did the soldiers have or hold besides guns? For sea, sky, and ocean, it's the same thing with the ocean. For children around the world, they're doing their own home description. And then here for um, the animals one, it would be a porcupine description. So of course you could definitely do any topic with these, but this is a way to build it into the theme. And I just wanted to show you how they tie the language arts into the themes as well. So that is pretty much it for my walkthrough for Winter Promise. I hope that that was helpful for you. Again, if you have any questions, leave them below. Um, I feel like this is an amazing program. And again, I don't plan to use it as written. I plan to use it so that I can break off smaller unit studies, but it's nice because there is so much information here. I don't have to go searching for activities to do. I don't have to go searching for books. I don't have to go searching for any of that because it's all there. I don't have to look for projects nothing. And I like how the language arts can coordinate with it as well. Um, even if you're on a bit of a different schedule, there's enough there to kind of tie it all in, which is really, really nice. And I really appreciate that. And I just feel like this is a really well thought out program. I've never really seen anything like this. I wouldn't say that it's unit study because um, it's more broad than unit studies generally are, but it definitely, definitely has a unit study flavor to it for sure. And I just really like how they've thought of everything to include the family um, in the learning experience. And I think it's a really great program. I am excited to use it. The one downside, like I said, is that their website is quite confusing and it can be very difficult to figure out what exactly you need. But um, I just, that's part of why I just went with the basic pack. It makes it easy. But if you have any questions, definitely feel free to call them. And like I said, let me know if you have any questions and I hope that you guys are having a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.